So let me present to you a demonstration of a designation scenario. Let's have a look at this test mission. You will see uh, the enemy here as a demonstration, nicely lined up of several vehicles of different types. There are two reconnaissance vehicles, very close to, the, to that group, but they are weapon hold, right? So they won't be able, you know, to be attacked. As well, the group here, the red group, is weapon hold. In a normal combat scenario, when, as a mission designer, you could even opt to provide a command and bring those reconnaissance vehicles to become invisible. The reconnaissance vehicle start all with the name Reca in this mission example. You got two kinds of reconnaissance vehicles. You got the ones here and you got the ones a bit up in the hill there. Okay, so the other uh, reconnaissance group, let's call it, that is, you know, a Reaper which is flying around in the air around that target area, constantly detecting the targets. So you got three groups essentially that are active detecting those targets. And then you got attack uh, groups, you know, spread around the target area. And you can join those targets by, you know, by just getting into the CA module and join one of those vehicles or jumping in one of those planes here you know an a 10 c or an su 25t you kick off the mission and just um, you know jump into one of those attack vehicles here is going to be an mbtm 1a2 abrams and let's see what happens so i'm selecting game master and i'm jumping into the blue side and I'm going to select the attack vehicle here. There's nothing shown because it's dark. But let me activate flare. So here we are. Observing the target space. And what I'm going to do now is to activate the menu. And there's a designate menu that has been popped up here. And I'm going to do a status report, report status. What it says here is that the headquarters is reporting targets have been designated. I get a latitude longitude position of the target. I get the highest threat level of the unit within that group that has been detected. And by the way, this is not a DCS group, but a collection of groups, a set of units that have been detected and then an information what kind of units were found within that uh, detected set. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, for some reason I was okay I'm going to now select number F3 so that detected set is now added within the menu and I can select it it's a bit still unclear, I think I need to clean it up a bit and make it, you know, a bit more shorter that you can clearly, you know, use the detected set using an, I an identifier or something. Now I can choose to start lasing the targets on that detected set by pressing F2. I'm going to lace each target 120 seconds. Here we are. This is magnificent, isn't it? Targets are being laced, and also note that the targets, the beams, are not stable. In reality, those beams will fluctuate. And you see different units lasing from different locations. Remember the vehicles on the top of the hill? Well, that guy is lasing, and even the Reaper is lasing, who is flying in the air. Okay. So I have my beam, and what I can do now is, very quickly, you know, just uh, select a target and shoot it. And now you see the target 
has been destroyed, so the reconnaissance in the area is starting to change target automatically. Let me select this one. Ah, that was a miss. Let me try again. Yeah. Come on. There you go. And destroy. This is quite boring. Let me jump into an SU-25T and start flying. Okay, so now I'm again in the... Bloody hell. Okay, got, got it. So now I am into the cockpit and you see that a laser has been designate, is designating a target and I have armed my SU-25L, right? So once I arm that and I get into range, then that target diamond indication there will become um, a circle. This is a this is a laser that is using laser code, um, you know, laser code one 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 three. So now I'm in range, and now I can shoot my laser guided bomb, but I can only do this in override mode. So I need to. Yeah, it's Microsoft. So I not, now I need to do that I over, I've overridden it now I shot my my laser guided bomb when the SU-25T would have a flare view it would be a really magnificent sight to see those lasers you know marking those targets on the ground there you go I got a hit so look at this here, you know, the, you know, the reconnaissance vehicle uh, reporting to you that target has been hit. Ah, yeah, I need to get back up. Okay, I'm on keyboard here because um, I didn't want to really, you know, get into joystick stuff and everything. So that's a demonstration and I hope you liked it. Uh, I've changed to window mode because of the uh, problem in DCS that you just cannot switch windows anymore and I can't access my recorder. So in windows mode then. So let me open um, again the mission and now I'm going to demonstrate the prioritized targeting of uh, designation. So you see here a couple of targets which are SAMs which provide a much higher threat level than a normal tank for an air to ground scenario. So the reconnaissance vehicle will start designate those targets first and then will start designating the others. Let's do this. Let's start playing. Okay, so I'm in the mission. Let me jump into this tank night vision and let me start designate and now I'm going to use auto lace auto lace will basically automatically lace all the detected sets within the designate scope and we'll just you know start ordering voila that one is destroyed but just remind just to you know um, see that the different targets you know that are currently being marked are you know SAM targets let me give that report status back so now you got one here marking right there you go Again, another one marked. Target, 
I don't know what ceasefire means here. Anyway, so fantastic. Um, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and I really hope the designate class is going to be a fantastic asset for your machine designs. So what it really does, it, it, uh, it creates for you a dynamic environment where reconnaissance vehicles start automatically lasing your targets. Um, let me demonstrate for you now very quickly what smoking is and illumination. Let me go through illumination for a minute. Right, so that was designation. I will publish a couple of other videos with some other battle scenarios. Maybe one on smoking and one on illumination as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.